Welcome back everyone to another brand new video today. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how I generate an extra 10 to $20,000 a month in revenue from free traffic that isn't paid for. I made a video very similar to this a couple of years ago and it did very, very well. So I'm gonna be giving you the updated version today, 2024, just in time for Q4 as well. Now, very quickly, if you are new around here, please do subscribe. As you know, I do a lot of Google ads and e-commerce content on the channel and I do have my own Google ads agency so if you own your own business and you want to add another channel of revenue to your business or if you're already struggling with google ads and want some help simply click the link in the description get in touch and i'm sure we can help you grow okay now jumping over to my computer here you can see we are currently on google analytics little disclaimer i've got a team dedicated to analyzing my data and making decisions that end but i've hopped on here just to show you some data for the last 90 days of my business if we quickly scroll down here you can see from organic search we have had a total of 20 25,500 visitors and this links in exactly with what I'm going to be sharing with you today and just to break it down even more what this means this is 25 and a half thousand visitors I've had to my website that I've not had to pay a single penny for and assuming we are converting at a roughly 2% conversion rate from those free visitors or the free traffic that would have generated me around 510 orders my AOV is above $100 so that would mean over $50,000 in revenue in the last 90 days from this organic traffic we do have a few issues in the back end you can see with analytics because literally every single order is being unassigned and not being assigned to a certain channel going off these numbers and the average conversion rate like I said we can assume roughly fifty thousand dollars in extra revenue in the last 90 days from free organic traffic now yes this isn't something that's going to quickly happen for you overnight but it's something you can do day by day every time you add a new product to your website it's just a little thing extra you can do to help boost the reach of your products across Google as well as Bing on any other search engine that over time will gradually accumulate and gradually gain traction and you'll notice certain products you know you sell they might not necessarily do well on paid channels on Facebook or actual Google shopping but they will gain traction on the organic front and still generate you some income now if we move over to a Shopify product page here this is just an example a very popular product that I'm sure we've all seen it is going to be the example for this video it's going to be one of those TikTok shower heads but I quickly made a mock-up product page here and you can just see you know very simple very straightforward now a very important section on a Shopify product page is often ignored is going to be right at the bottom and it is going to be your search engine listing now you can see here we have a section where we can add an additional product title an additional description for the product slash web page now by changing this it's not going to change your actual Shopify product title that your customers see on your store these are the keywords and phrases and sentences that Google and other search engines are going to use to organically rank your product pages yes there's different strategies for other landing pages but this video solely going to focus on product pages like I said I just want to make it very clear that changing the title and description is not going to affect what people see on your product page they're not going to see this at all now often by default if you just name your product for example shower head this page title here will only be you know will only use the phrase you essentially use in your Shopify title and the description here is often blank or it will just take the product description and just copy it down here which is obviously not ideal because what this essentially is is your chance to cram in as many relevant very key point there relevant keywords related to your product now you have a 70 character limit for the title but you have a 320 character limit for the description now obviously Google and other search engines prioritize the title they read from left to right so they'll prioritize for example these three keywords over these three keywords here that is just how it works now I want to add a very important point here if you are using Google shopping ads you don't have to stick to the 70 character limit here now Google Shopping and Merchant Center this will tell you on Merchant Center as well you can have up to 150 characters in your product title and for me personally this is where I edit that as well you can edit it directly on Merchant Center if you want but for me I like to do it all in one place so for this example rather than having up to 70 characters I will use up to 150 characters and that is because I'm advertising my products on Google Shopping using them on Merchant Center and I want to maximize the character limit of 150 characters 
contractors so I can get the best reach and best quality traffic when advertising on Google. But bear in mind for the organic side of things, it will only read up to 70 characters in the title and 320 for the description. So this is a rough example I've done here and I'm gonna go through the steps now to show you exactly how and where I find relevant keywords to put into my SEO title and descriptions to give these products the best chance of organic growth. Now I have already done the description here. Yes, this is a very boring task, but at least please focus on the product or the SEO page title, this section here, because it is what Google prioritizes. It will prioritize this over the description, but if you have time i definitely would recommend doing the description as well now obviously you can cram in as many keywords as you possibly can but i still like to make it make some sort of grammatical sense rather than just bullet pointing keyword after keyword you know you notice here it doesn't say shower head high pressure shower head, shower head with hose. We still have a structured paragraph here, but we are still implementing as many sort of keywords that are relevant to the product as possible. Now, I've only done 62 characters for the title. We are gonna go over to the keyword planner on Google to expand upon this and get up to, or as close to 150 characters as possible because you're benefiting in both ways here. You're benefiting by increasing your Google shopping ads quality by providing them with more keywords. But again, those first 70 characters are going to help your organic reach as well so we're going to use united states as the example here simply put shower head to begin with and this is going to give you a bunch of relevant keywords that you can use in these sections on the shopify product page back onto keyword planner you can see straight away average monthly searches in the us for shower head quarter of a million very impressive now again reverting back to the point i made earlier you want relevant search terms here you don't want something like for example brass shower head i'm not going to use that phrase if you like because this isn't a brass shower head you still have to keep it relevant like i said you don't want to be chucking in random terms here because if you do google will obviously at the start try and push for organic clicks and you know even on the google ad side of things as well but once people or once google should i say realize okay we're showing people this ad or this organic link and people are not clicking it because it's irrelevant it's just going to reduce you like your quality score your overall ctr and it's going to have a negative impact across the board so please do make sure you are using you know relevant terms in the title as well as the description so to begin with you can see the terms I've used high pressure filtered shower head and best filtered shower head and that is because you know terms with the phrase or the word filtered in we just go click this column here average monthly searches you can see you've got searches with 30 40k that use the word filtered or filtering you've got filtration here now for example this shower head if this came with a hose you could include something like that in here like so obviously you'd end up capitalizing it and things like that again filtered shower head i've already used 22k a month and you see what i mean there so if you just had the word shower head as your title in that section at the bottom of your product page you're missing out on potential traffic that is searching for these more specific and probably more likely high converting search terms as well so it just goes to show how important it is like i said it's very overlooked it's not something that's going to make you a million quid overnight but like i said over the weeks and months and potentially years that you end up running your business for this really is going to add a reliable and free source of extra revenue for your business now just scrolling down here you can see a few of the terms have the term or phrase handheld or handle in them so I would probably then add something like shower head with if I can type handle and you know we've still got 115 out of 150 characters to use but like I said the first 70 obviously for your organic side of things and you want to make sure those first 70 are the most relevant and high searched keywords but like I said if you're watching this video you probably run Google shopping ads so you want to use the other 70 or 80 characters or so get up to that 150 mark and make the most of those high quality and high searched search terms now even as you scroll down you've got terms with a couple of thousand searches a month you might not think that's any use but trust me these are very like I said they're very specific which usually means they're high converting search terms again this shower head i believe it's just an example has some sort of lighting system in it so then i could go ahead and add this term here and then we are just below the 150 search term mark now or character mark should i say now once you've done this if you don't run google ads or anything you can leave it you're done move on to the next product now if you're running google ads shopping ads and you use google merchant center now most of you will probably use an app like sim process google shopping feed or the shopify 
Spotify default Google feed app, or you can even do this directly by editing the product on Google Merchant Center. I like to use Symprosis so it's all synced up properly. So we are on the app now, and this is for the example showerhead. So obviously you can see here the product title and description is still using the Shopify product title and description. Now all you need to do is click sync from Shopify, and you wanna make sure the SEO description and SEO title are clicked. Once it is synced, it should update and you know change the title and description to what you have just worked on which is the high converting high search keyword search terms and you can see they have automatically populated in these sections here now if you want to add an extra few layers of relevancy and things to your product listing you know you can go into the category section here you know you can add the product category you can add the color size material I personally don't do this for every single product I just make sure the title description are done I always do the category as well because if you leave it blank you leave Google to automatically categorize the product for you and sometimes it isn't very accurate so you know your product best do this yourself it takes 10 seconds and then once you've done that you can click update everything is synced and in about 20 minutes or so that will sync and feed through to merchant center so you're not only now benefiting from a better organic reach because you've added more relevant keywords to your seo title and description but you're also going to be improving your google shopping ads because you are providing google with more relevant terms about your product which is going to give google a better idea on who to show your products and your ads to and if we just quickly hop over to google analytics we can just look at the last 12 months this time and you can see the amount of organic traffic this business has now if we just quickly hop back up to google analytics before the google analytics 4 update if we look at september 1st to december 31st of 2023 you can see our organic search generated 8,600 visitors so if you compare that to the last 90 days we looked at at the start of the video you can already see a massive increase in volume of traffic just in the last 12 months or so so that is what i mean by i mean for me at least and i know again you need to focus on relevancy and if you do google will reward you and you can just see i think it was 45,000 visitors or so from the last 90 days comparing this to basically q4 plus another month last year only eight and a half thousand but you can see here this was tracking at the time number of orders and from 8,600 organic visitors we had 468 orders and i'm no maths expert but that is an incredibly good conversion rate to have from free organic traffic now these figures are never going to be 100 percent accurate you can even see that with the google analytics 4 update we had at some point at the start of the year i believe like i said i don't manage this side of the business myself anymore but yeah if we go to the last 90 days sorry it was 25,000 visitors not 45,000. but you can still see the increase there so if you've got an e-commerce business that sells products online this is a must have to do on every single product you sell if you've got a catalog of products already go back and do this for every single product and then make it a habit to do every time you add a new product so then you don't pile up another list of products you need to do at one go this is something i do for every single new product we test even if it's a product that ends up perhaps failing i always do it anyway because i believe it is very very important long term for your business so i hope you found this video useful if you are new around here please do subscribe and like i said at the start if you need some help with google ads check out my ads agency in the link below thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video